Hey there folks and welcome back to Venice and Europa Universe Islands for the Mare Nostrum expansion. So in the last episode we had coalition war declared upon us by Switzerland and various other people. Just 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 a couple. Uh, so we've got France and we've got some uh, some help here from Lunenburg and their uh, <laughs> Their uh, personal union partner, Brunswick. Also, Nuremberg? You little bitty old Nuremberg here who I don't think has any troops anymore. Um, Mantua stayed neutral, I believe. Indeed, they did. Uh, the Knights, I believe, joined on our side. They did. I'm not. <laughs> And combined with France, it pretty much, pretty much goes through the good guy side. And a good chunk of Europe is the bad guy side. So the problem is, the way I would normally consider dealing with the coalition war is either beelining for the war leader, which in this case is completely untenable because Switzerland is in the middle of everything. Um, the fact that they're in the mountains is certainly something we could use to our advantage if they did not have just an enormously gigantic advantage in total number of troops. Uh, even, even just sitting in the Alps with our cannons is not going to be good enough. Um, and the other way would be to pick off small armies, which is what we're going to have to do, but what this may devolve into is just hanging on for dear life. Like, uh, sitting in Venezia, blockading them out, and just waiting for length of war to go down, and hope that other people attack these guys. It's really unfortunate, though, that most, for most of these countries, all of their neighbors are already in. But, I don't know, Switzerland, Switzerland and Burgundy, maybe they hate each other? Not that Burgundy is exactly, hmm, don't really hate each other. Uh, not that Burgundy is necessarily in a position to do anything to anyone currently. But I don't know, you know, maybe maybe something happens and weakens some of these members. Uh, if nothing else, you know, like I say, length of war will tick down. <sighs> that coalition war modifier. Yeah, so... At some point, we're going to have to seed some things down. I would ideally like to get a small group down to... Roma and siege it down, but that's not, again, not really tenable. And work our way up. I think what, what I'm gonna do is kill this little army from Bosnia, kick my whole stack over, I don't want to do anything other than just overwhelming fights, because again, show superiority is is the uh, the war goal here and then just siege down each of their provinces. Um, I guess we'll have to send like four guys over. I'm hoping from Ragusa I can get a guy up on Visoki. Yeah, that's the plan. For now, anyway. Um, hopefully France doesn't just give away his entire army in the interim. Get over here. How many losses did we take? Okay, not not a crippling amount. Costs may end up being crippling. Though we are we're gonna go in some serious debt. Oh, Trader refuses to serve Republic. Uh oh. Cooperative Trader. Minus fifteen power in Aleppo. Yeah. Alright. It's bad, but so it goes. A 
everything... I mean, everything through here is the freaking Alps. We can't... <laughs> we can't really engage. Savoy is... is actually mountains. Good. Avignon is... F flat. Avignon is flat, but... Avignon and Provence are really nice provinces. It will help us a lot if France concedes them down without losing their whole stack. Ideally, what we may end up doing is go over here, get Bosnia from our flank, come back, maybe sit on Wallace. You know, in a position here in the mountains where we can reinforce France and vice versa. Not that I give, uh, not that I give the AI necessarily that much credit. Blockades, 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 all right. A negative four from four battles. Yes. I mean, so it goes. I would like to crush that stack, but I don't think that's a thing I can do. Back from Bavaria. Where are you going, Savoy? Head over here. Crush that. Although I'm tempted to turn around and try to deal with this. Small armies like that that we can stack wipe are just amazingly good for us right now. And it's going to take forever for Bosnia to actually siege down Dalmatia. Could build up some mercs and deal with that. Ew. This is Lorraine at Al coming in. And they're heading for Avignon. It's a 2-2-3. Two, two, Savoy has some cannons. France has cannons. They've got a better leader, but they are outnumbered. Is there a river between here and... There's not a river between here and Dauphiné. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I can't do this. Are they both going to pounce on the Savoy? I guess that's a possibility. I mean, a big chunk of what we're going to hope for here is that they just get stupid. Spread out their armies trying to siege down France. And we can... I mean, we can make a judgment call from there depending and either siege them down or go try to deal with their armies piecemeal. Alright. I think I need some more mercs, because, you know, mercs solve everything. Are you for real? Alright, break off. Merc to Vasoki, I can. Alright, get a Merc to Hum. We'll put the whole stack on Bosnia, crush their army, and then come back around. Really? Is it Lyon, Lyonne Hills? It is. I don't know why you would take that. God, Louis is not that great of a leader. 
553. I expected more of you, France. Austria! Oh god. Oh, we're screwed. We are screwed. Absolutely, positively screwed. Austria declares war on us in like three, <laughs> two. Jesus. Alright, so there's some good news. Uh, break off a Merc. Head out of there. Alright, so we've got that one heading to Visaki. This one will be done in a couple of days. Gonna step on Travunia. I just don't understand, France. Yep, yep, yep. France is losing. France is just wrecked. And by extension, so are we pretty much. Alright, break off one of these mercs. And proceed onward. How far are we over force limit? Oh, yeah, let's. Definitely raising war taxes. Shoving that money into more and more mercenaries. Alright, so this is good. Uh, we're serving up our ally on a platter, and as long as <laughs> as long as they don't peace out too early, we can use that to our advantage. Seriously, how dare you? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, what gives you the right? Anyway. Yeah, they've decided they just want all of our provinces. So once we... <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna... We're not gonna have this dealt with in a year. So in a year and a couple months, we're gonna have a war with Austria on our hands, and France will not be able to help us. That's bad. That's... that's bad. Uh... We're gonna have to secure another alliance. Who hates... Ottomans and France? All right, Bohemia, who, whom do you hate? You hate Hungary. Poland and Brandenburg is less than ideal. I think we just got your relations pretty high. Let's improve them some more. I don't think we're gonna have the opportunity to do anything with them, but... make sure that we leave that possibility in place. So that's going to give us like 27. Let's, let's not pretend like we're not taking loans here. I didn't need to take that second one. That was bad. training Brescia. It's probably a little bit aggro. A little, little quick to start that one. What do we got? Coast of Gambia. The Grain Coast. Fair enough. Not terribly interesting to us at the moment. Yeah, so they forced France back to Paris. But again, yeah, this is, this is the AI behavior you can kind of take advantage of. 
Their beef is with us. They should be beelining us. But uh, they're going to attrition themselves away. This has got to be like, it's only 4%, but still, they're attritioning themselves away, splitting up their army, and yeah, we can, we can, we can work with this. Three there, six there, so clearly we're gonna head to Vasoki first. Alright, more mercs. There's just so many provinces. I would like to get a Merc on basically everything down here. So we can keep things sort of in front of us. But God, that's going to be tough. And it's not really possible with these forts in the way. Another general, 0221. I'll take it. 12th, 11th. That spawns on 18th. Alright. We changed his mind. Fair enough. Uh, what we're going to do here, if they're content to siege down France, I'm going to be content to siege down Switzerland. About 20. I think I'm alright with that. Wish I had more cannons, which I think is just what everyone always says about everything. Good. Join in. can probably join in this fight too. It's gonna be this gonna be some. Wait, is there a river crossing? There is. Damn it. Um yeah, there we go. Got around it. That would have been bad. Oh wow, we've got a really big morale lead. Yeah, we need a full nine here, but... seem to be okay. We lost a little bit of cab, which is unfortunate, but the fight was very much in our favor. Unfortunately, the big shack that was there kind of wandered in an inopportune direction. Do I head to Graubunden? Right, let's join everybody up. Detach mercs, consolidate those regiments so we can have a little bit more in the pool to do the other stuff.
I don't really gain anything by being there. Um, I'm gonna head to Grubbundon. See what we see. Baden and Venice on the 24th. I don't think we can get away from that. What's Baden heading at us with? Six guys. All right, and there. Right, one start. St. Galen and Oberschwaben. It is here. Alright, then I think we're okay. What's the supply limit in Paris anyway? 36. Sounds about right. I don't know how good of an idea this is. I'm suddenly getting the feeling it's really bad. But I can't get out of there now. This was probably just a bad idea. Fourth. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there they come. I may have to cancel those. Saxony. Where's Faith Allied? He was allied with the Pope, Austria, and Scotland. And now that Austria is rivaled to France, there's no way they don't join that war. Which means we cannot say yes. It is not a thing we can do. Sucks. I've got another forty seven thousand coming in. All right, put that over there. Making gains minus three. Well, that won't last long. Yes. All right. Keep going. And our discipline is is something here, but and a nine versus a two. And a lot of shock pips too. There's just so many of them. Fortunately, we're in the mountains, right? So... Cannons are definitely something. 
in this case. Yeah, I just, I can't. It's just not a thing I can do. I let it auto decline there. I'm really debating. Yeah, with these rolls, we can't can't win this either. Which is really, really, really rough. I guess I'll let it tick through one more fire phase. I mean, we killed way more of them than we lost, but we still lost the fight, which I kind of knew we would, but I did it anyway, cause dumb. We're way away from anything, right? Alright, they're good with that. I don't care about Brescia to Milan. I don't care about Milan to Milan. Obviously, Switzerland wants that territory. Release nations. I'd be okay with any of that. Annul treaties. Really? See defeat? Eh? Eh? Switzerland requires release Croatia to be part of the offer. Uh, <laughs> uh, and even that would not be good enough. So wait, this would have us... Releasing Laika and Dalmatia. Can I buy you off? Lost concessions other than gold. Of course you do. Of course you do. War reps. Plus Croatia. Requires release Ragusa. And release Crete. Come on now. Come on now. What if I gave Donji back to Bosnia? I don't care about that too much. And release Ragusa. Oh yeah, and make... France gives some crap away. Because I'm like super okay with France giving crap away. Can I be selected because Hesse doesn't want it? Come on now. It's tasty, tasty land. Of course you want land. Alright, fine. Well. We're not doing any of that right now anyway. What I guess we are doing right now is taking a break. Oh, they're shattered anyway. Damn. That's fair. Well, fortunately there's still the uh, Fort in Milan. Alright, yeah, thanks for watching folks. We're going to take a break here. And see what happens next time. Hope to see you then.